Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to compare very small and very large numbers. Timothy and his dad enjoy building model cars together. The model car pictured is 8 inches in length. The same car in real life is 13 feet and 5 inches long. Approximately how many times greater is the length of the actual car than the length of the model car? One thing I almost always do when solving word problems is to create a visual to map out the problem for myself. So, for this problem, there is a model car that me measures 8 inches in length, and an actual car that measures 13 feet 5 inches, or a total of 161 inches in length. The question is asking approximately how many times greater is the length of the actual car than the length of the model car? Now, you may be wondering where to start. How do we figure this out? Picking out keywords will help us determine the right operations to use. Here, I see how many times greater. That should tell us what needs to be done. But just in case you're still stuck, another thing I like to do is to change the problem and use less complicated numbers. For instance, how many times greater is the number 12 than the number 3? Well. Since 3 times 4 equals 12, or 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4, 12 is 4 times greater. Notice we use division here. How many times greater is your uncle's age than your age? Well, if you're 14 years old and your uncle is 28 years old, how many times greater in age is he? Well, 20 divided by 14 tells us that he is 2 times greater in age than you are. Notice again, division was the most helpful in figuring this out. So, back to our car problem. I now know to divide 161 inches by 8 inches. Since we are looking for an approximate answer, we can round our answers to help with calculations. Let's approximate each number as a single digit number times a power of 10, just like we did in the previous lesson. 161 rounds up to 200, which we can write as 2 times 10 to the second power. 8 rounds up to 10, which we can write as 1 times 10 to the first power. We can simplify this easily. 2 over 1 is simply 2. Remember, we are still going to be multiplying, and using our quotient property of exponents, we can subtract the exponents to get 10 to the first power. The actual car is approximately 2 times 10 to the first power, or approximately 20 times greater in length than that of the model car. You may be wondering why we went through the trouble of writing each number as a single digit times a power of 10. Well, when we work with much greater or smaller numbers, it will come in handy. Let's take a look at another example. Here shows the population of Erie, Pennsylvania, shown by the star, and the population of the entire United States. How many times greater is the population of the United States than Erie, Pennsylvania? To find how many times greater something is, we know we must divide. We will approximate the population of the U.S. as 300 million divided by the population of Erie approximated at 100,000. Written as a single digit number times a power of 10, we get 3 times 10 to the 8th over 1 times 10 to the 5th. We simplify to get 3 times 10 to the 8 minus 5 or 3 times 10 to the 3rd. Keep going to get 3 times 1,000 or 3,000. The population of the United States is approximately 3,000 times greater than that of Erie, Pennsylvania. Go ahead and try this one on your own. The numbers used are very small, so you will be using negative exponents, but the concept is exactly the same. And remember to hit the pause button if you need more time to solve the problem. Okay, the diameter of a pencil eraser is 47 hundredths inches. The diameter of a water molecule is 11 billionths inches. Approximately how many times greater is the diameter of the pencil eraser than the diameter of the water molecule. Okay, 
To determine how many times greater something is, we will divide. In this case, we divide the diameter of the pencil eraser by the diameter of the water molecule. This is 47 hundredths divided by 11 billionths. When approximated, we get 5 tenths divided by 1 ten millionth. We can write this as 5 times 10 to the negative first divided by 1 times 10 to the negative eighth. 5 divided by 1 is 5. Bring down the multiplication symbol, and using the quotient property of exponents, we will subtract the exponents to get 5 times 10 to the seventh power. Let's go ahead and simplify completely. 5 times 10 million is 50 million. And can you even imagine that? The diameter of a pencil eraser is 50 million times greater than that of a water molecule. Thank you.